Okay, I'm going to tell you how to sit there and test your CDI boxes. Everyone seems to have a problem with how do you test them? Well, you don't test them. You sit there and test what's going into them and what's coming out of them or what's not coming out of them. Your cap capacitive discharge ignitions have your coil wire out okay then you've got a power and a ground in and then you got your trigger and coil okay this box here takes AC power in okay so if you were to test the input lines for the power and ground that's obviously 12 volt okay so you have power and ground going in you're good if you crank the motor over and you got AC voltage within range on your uh, trigger um, coil, then you're good. If you got nothing coming out here, that's bad. A lot of people want to try to sell you on this on the uh, rectifier. Guess what? Nine times out of ten, it's not the rectifier. Okay, I spent a day looking for rectifier parts and I went, wait a minute, something don't sound right. You know, and some CDI boxes go through the rectifier, okay, because it goes from the stator to the rectifier, and the rectifier takes the voltage, the AC voltage it receives, and turns it into DC voltage, and it regulates it for charging your system and some of your older CDI units are fed by that okay not this one those are ones that can run without a battery this one cannot run without a battery so that is how you test a CDI unit without ever having to test it except for the output wire